School safety is just one source of anxiety for teenagers. Add in social media pressures and stress over getting into college. Those just some of the reasons surveys show one in five teens seriously consider suicide. And only on WREL, Colin Browder takes us inside a Wake County High School making mental health a priority. Consider the national statistics. Close to one in three teens reports persistent feelings of depression and hopelessness. Fuquay Verena High School decided to take mental health head on and added it to the curriculum. The human services area. Hey Paisley, how are you? Hi Abby. Every day. Hi Amelia, how are you? Teacher Julia McClannan greets her students at the door by name. It's part of her personal touch for a class she thinks is long overdue. So for me, this was like a fulfillment of a huge need. How to build trusting relationships. It's a pilot rolled out by the Department of Public Instruction called Counseling and Mental Health. Give me something that is a stress and then something positive, a success, a win. The class doesn't replace the need for school counselors, but allows students to focus on mental health symptoms, triggers, and coping strategies. Um, I've found ways to cope with mental illnesses and like why some people might feel some certain way and like how to make, have a better self-esteem. The class is leaving a serious impression on students like ninth grader Adrian Getz, who wants to overcome the stigma long placed on mental health struggles. I, I actually want to do this as a career. I want to be a psychologist. And someone gives you a big hug to make you feel better. For McClannan, this is a calling. My dream for all of them is to come out of this class and feel better about themselves and feel like they have a good purpose in the world and that they matter. By empowering teens to take on life's pressures and struggles together. Spreading positivity, spreading kindness, spreading awareness of mental health and that we all struggle. Cullen Browder, WRAL News, Fuquay Verena. Such an important thing they're teaching there. And folks, remember, if you or anyone you know is even thinking about suicide or harming yourself, please call or text 988 to speak to someone at the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline.